Lynx are extremely efficient predators, experts in stalking and ambushing prey, primarily snowshoe hares. They also take sandhill cranes, colts, and eggs. A lynx has been stalking the Inspiration Ridge Preserve crane family. On a Monday night, as the cranes went to their roost, a friend and I followed them for some evening photography. The adults suddenly became agitated and gave the alarm call. The colt went off in another direction completely by itself. I finally figured out a predator was in the bushes along the upper trail. My dog Chipper and I hurried over there and saw a lynx running away. The lynx made a second sneak attack through dense grass and fireweed. Chipper and I chased it away again. The cranes quickly headed to their usual pond. They disappeared while my friend and I went to the house. We did not see them while checking the other ponds, but caught a glimpse of the lynx on the trail. Tuesday morning, just like in 2011 when predators threatened, our crane family disappeared. The colt will be able to fly in about two weeks if they can avoid their predators. Wednesday morning, I heard the plaintive cries of two cranes passing overhead. When I got home, the parents were at the house. The male continued to call. About half hour later, they both flew off, calling as they faded into the distance. I figured the lynx finally got the colt. When I returned from town, I was elated. The family was at the house. Somehow, the colt managed to evade the lynx, and the adults found their colt. Wednesday night, at 11.30 p.m., the two adult cranes circled over the field in front of the house, twice sounding the alarm call as they flew off into the distance. Our caretaker told me he saw the lynx on the driveway about 10 p.m., and the two cranes at the pond about then as well. So the lynx was still after the family. Thursday morning, the colt was in the yard at 7.15 a.m. by itself. At 9 a.m., the colt disappeared. At 9.30 a.m., a trumpeting crane landed at the pond. It was the male. The female never showed up that day. Thursday night, when the male and colt went to roost, they ran wherever they were headed. This is the first time we have ever seen them leave for a roost at a run. Friday morning, the colt and male crane showed up a bit late, about 7.15 a.m., bedraggled but safe. Still no female adult crane. Finally, mid-afternoon, the female came back and the family was reunited. The three cranes have been very nervous since the attacks, staying close to the house, but otherwise life has returned to a more normal routine. In about 15 to 25 days, the colt will be able to fly. Evading lynx and other predators will become much easier then.